it's gothy and I'm doing my wrap up why is that just popped up I'm trying to do assessment stuff and I'm just waiting for things to do their thing so I thought I'd quickly do this video um, it's like midnight after midnight actually and it is cold as hell I'm wearing my winter gloves already um, so um, yes book wrap up books yes um, so I didn't read much this month um, still sort of in that reading slump sort of thing I did read I read two whole books and I'm about 350 pages into another so I read one is an ebook so no actual physical copy um, I read Queen of the Tealing by Erica Johnson I want to say I should look that up before I did this but I have all my assessment stuff up so um, yeah so I read that and that was really good I thought it was kind of like still very much a fantasy but I thought it was quite different as well because it's not like rushing off on adventure and swashbuckling and romance and all that sort of stuff it was more about um, her learning her role as the queen and trying to uncover stuff and yeah I, I thought it was a really interesting fantasy like a little unique and I quite enjoyed it um, and then I read I do have this one in physical copy um, <coughs> this one. Um, Hush Little Bird by Nicole Troop. Um, this is an Australian author and this is a uncorrected proof of an arc. This one is out in July and I really encourage people to pick this up. Um, this is something very different to what I usually read. This is like a general fiction sort of drama sort of thing. Um, really interesting. Uh, this is her fourth book. So I'm going to be looking up the other three because I love this. Um, I got sent this by um, Alan and Unwin through the reading room. And I've actually just been accepted for two more arcs. So I can't wait to get those. Um, so I've been reading some sort of looking into different sorts of fiction lately. And this one really didn't disappoint. The first thing I'm going to say, this book deals... Um, quite heavily with um, child sexual abuse so if that is something that may trigger you make you uncomfortable don't read it it's not it's not graphic it's not detailed or anything but it is in here quite a bit um, so this is about two women who have lived very different lives um, who end up in the same correctional facility um, it's a minimum security prison um, that focuses on um, rehabilitation rather than punishment. It's usually for um, inmates who have who are at like the ass end of their service uh, a sentence not service sentence. Um, teaches them you know to cook and to clean and to garden and stuff like that before they go back out um, into the world. So one of the girls is in her last couple months in this minimum security prison. And the other woman um, is married to a famous actor, so she got off lightly and didn't actually have to go to a proper prison for her sentence. She goes straight to the minimum security. Um, now, the famous woman doesn't know anyone there as far as she knows, um, but the other woman does know her, and that's the big climax at the end, is how did they know each other? Um... Yeah, so this this was actually really good. I really enjoyed this. I had trouble putting it down. <laughs> so this is out. It doesn't have an exact date. It just says July this year. So, yes. Yeah, no, there's no, um, there's no date, release date for it. So. Uh, da, 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 da. No, I'm not thinking the verse so either. Yep, so July. Um, pick it up, it's really good. This is one of the books that I was going to haul for this month too because that's when I got it. Um, so, apart from that, I have some other books to haul. I'm just going to reread these a little bit. So, I've been book mooching again. Um, picked up a copy of The Luminaries by Elena Catton. Um, this one won the Man Booker Prize in 2013. Um, so this copy is a little bit water damaged, but Everything's readable, 
everything's fine. Um, I'm really not not fussed at all. It is a giant book. Look at that. You can knock someone the hell out with this. But yeah, it's something that again I've been looking into different sorts of fiction, and this one has seemed interesting to me a few times. So when it popped up on Bookmooch, I was like, sure, I got points to spend. Then I have a hardcover copy of Yes Please by Amy Powell. Um, I have the ebook of this, and I haven't just got around to reading it. Um, Book Depository had their um, 50 books, 50 hours sale. 50 books, 24 hour, 25 hour, something like that. Like a new book every half hour or something. Uh, this cost me seventeen dollars, um, which is really good because this is still like almost forty bucks in Australia. So yay! Um, then I have some books from Booktopia. Um, I actually have some more coming because they have their end of financial end of yeah end of financial year sale, and a free shipping charge at the moment. So I bought some books. So I got Swarm Thief's Dance by Deborah Miller, and this is a, um, it's a fantasy, I want to say, um, adult fantasy, and it's, um, it's about, um, a battle between heaven and earth, or, or they call it the underworld. Um, yeah, so it's all about the, like, the after effects of that battle, so very interesting, and bookmark. Um, this one I could ride all day in my cool blue train by Peter Hobbs. Um, this is one that just kept um, calling out to me. It has some very um, where is it? Yeah, I can't find it now. It has like little things like little drawings and stuff in it so it looks really interesting. And this one, what I thought was kind of interesting was that there's not actually a blurb on the back. There are just opinions of people. So, um, but this is a collection of like short stories and stuff. So, um, then we have The Leaping by Tom Fletcher. And this is about, um, oh, like these two people work together and they're, you know, they have shitty bosses and just shitty place to work and they're kind of over it. So they move out in the middle of butt fuck nowhere um, into a haunted house. So, yes. Uh, this one, I should probably move those because they're sort of getting in the way. Um, this is Candy Everybody Wants by Josh Kilmer Purcell. Um, so this is about someone who wants to be a TV star. Um... And, yeah, it's just one of those things where, you know, he wants to do this, then he gets this, and it doesn't turn out the way he wants. So, it was like $2. So, I thought, hey, something different that I wouldn't usually pick up. That seems to be my thing lately. So, and then more book mooching. I got The red, uh, the White Queen and The Red Queen by Philippa Gregory. Um, so, I read one of her books, Reese, a little while ago. Um, from the Bartholomew series, I want to say. Um, and it was really interesting. I, I found it very interesting. So, yeah, I have these ones. So I believe this is the first one and this is the second one. Yes, this is the first, this is the second, and I think there's a third. Um, so yeah, they were up on Bookmooch and I thought, hey, let's give it a go. No points to spare. So... Yes, um, I think that's all the books that I got. I didn't get anything else, did I? No, no more books. That's it. Um, I'm at I'm at 65 books out of 150 for my reading challenge so far. So this month I'm going to try and read a lot more. I guess it kind of helps that it's now really getting to be winter, so I'm probably going to be laying in bed with the electric blanket where the cat is at the moment. He's a... Uh, very happily curled up in the hottest spot of the bed. Um, so I'm probably going to spend a lot of time in bed reading because it's warm in there. I have an electric blanket and it's cold outside. So it's going to be a lot of that. Plus I have two more weeks of TAFE classes left and then I'm on holidays. 
um, in two weeks I will have officially done four 17 week units in about eight weeks. So I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm very happy with myself. I'm very proud of myself for that. It's been a little stressful. I'm trying to get some stuff done now and it's fighting me. That's done. I don't know if that one is done yet, but trying to get this thing to work. <laughs> have I mentioned? I don't think I've ever mentioned how much I hate formatting videos so that they'll work in PowerPoint because it is a pain in the ass and I'm over it. So I'm going to go back and do that. I'm going to upload this at some point. Um, hopefully I will have more for um, next month. I have three books coming from Book Depository. I have nine books coming from Booktopia once they send them out. They're the ones I've bought today. Um, and then after that I'm going to sort of slow down a bit, um, maybe to spend like maybe one or two books here and there because I um, I got free tickets to Book Expo in October here in Sydney and I am going to be putting lots of money together for that. I'm going to be saving up so that I can go crazy and buy all of the Selena Fennec things. I'm not obsessed. I'll see you later. <laughs>